Hello everyone, this is Evo and welcome to today's Brown Dust 2 video. So in today's Brown Dust 2 video, we're going to pull for Angelica poolside costume, which is this juicy costume over here, as you guys can see, right? So uh, before I start pulling itself, I'm kind of disappointed that she's not a physical attacker because like previously, the mage teams were already really powerful in the meta with a bunch of really good units, right? And because I'm a physical main, so I would have appreciated if we get Angelica, who is such a strong unit, to be a physical attacker. Because if you take a look at her skill, right? Number one, this is a four-box attack. And it's quite, I'll say, like a universal arrangement kind of thing. So unless she's really meta, like I, I don't think people will purposely reposition so that, you know, she get countered. So let's say if your opponent is doing like a 3-2, for example, right? You can at least hit two targets. And if you do like a V-shape, right? You can hit like two or three targets depending on how they position itself. So this character is really powerful in terms of the, the pattern that it's hitting. And more importantly, this character has decreased incoming damage by 75% for two turns, right? And it attacked three times. Each attack deals magical damage based off 15% of the target's max HP. So in a sense, the damage is fixed. But the issue is this costume has its own decrease in damage. So it's like an inbuilt tanker that's able to do damage, which is just insane, I think. Like, why why did they give it to a mage team? Why not a physical team? Because right now PvP is very saturated with all the mage, uh, Sheras all your mage sire helena build and stuff so it's just crazy that they get another magical attacker but nonetheless it's not gonna affect my uh, mood to pull for her because she's so cute <laughs> okay but anyway uh let's let's without further ado let's pull right we are pulling it for the amazing godly animation over here so let's start with the free draw daily okay so nothing special, Cardi's bullet, usual three star. I have over 200 tickets over here. I I just intend to get uh maybe one copy of her. And then if I could, I'll try to get her weapon for collection bonuses as well. Even though it's more so of a more so of a mage build, right? So I I think I might want to pull for five copies of her. Cause like she's just very hot <laughs> okay wait there's this new guaranteed draw okay let's pull for another one and see how much this bar increases okay maria standard okay three so when you draw a three or four star costume the count increases by one okay you get a five star guaranteed costume okay we draw a three star costume when you draw a five star costume it resets by one so this one is five star guaranteed draw Let's go to the weapon first. Oh, I'll finish up all the free daily draws and stuff. Like recently, the game has been so generous that like I, I have over, what, nearly 300 plus summons for, for today's video. But I, I'm not going to spend everything because I, I don't know how strong she will be because the cost is still very high, right? Uh, Before I start drawing, maybe I'll talk about like my thoughts about my initial thoughts about her first before we, we continue pulling for her. So that's for everything. So if we take a look at her weapon itself, like this is her exclusive weapon, Evil Sword Joe Moon. So is there a way for me to click it? Yeah, this is the stats. So it provides crit damage 90%. So it's a mage attacker kind of weapon. So it means that she's more of an attacker unit. And for her skill itself, like it's very clear that it's a really decent offensive unit in a sense. After you, for example, attack, right? You can still survive. So subsequently, I think she's going to be a really powerful unit if she gets like really good future costumes because like you you use this skill. After that, you get this damage reduction for two turns, which means that she won't die. And that means that she will be able to use her next costume skill safely in PvP. And even in your PvE game mode, it's really good. Like it's a semi-tank slash DPS kind of thing. So depending on how her future costume develop angelica is a super powerful unit to come like honestly speaking i just this 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 ability to do damage right while decreasing incoming damage is just crazy although it has a cooldown timer of five so if right now we only get one costume of her it might not be that good yet because after you use this if you don't finish your enemy you, are, you don't have any other stuff to use but this is a very future proof unit in a sense this is a really good skill so the second costume will definitely be able to come into use in the future because dude 75 percent damage reduction is 
pretty much means she won't die on the first turn she used this skill so yeah that's one thing to talk about so i might do five copies of her if later on she's a lot stronger maybe let, okay let's see our luck first okay let's let's try a tempo then we, we begin talking about it let's go tempo okay no five star a bunch of good stuff so over here the five star counter increased let's go 20 star what is this okay so guaranteed four star so they sort of solved this guaranteed problem to like if let's say you won't really get like a full three star that's really good continue okay three four stars unfortunate let's continue okay doesn't look really good we have 30 summon in Feel, feels rigged i feel like my draw is rigged where's where's my where's my very first copy where is it angelica okay she's here okay one four star and one copy i think it's her right another three star okay so the five star is all the way at the end i'm pretty sure it should be angelica since i'm quite fortunate with all the radars like i don't go off banner for my radars let's see can i graduate here yeah so this is a new unit okay we got her okay who party angelica okay so i i i do want to get a copy of this event as usual about her so let's just draw this oh my god she's so good as a tanker as well like do i want five copy of her like, i think she's pretty insane though but I can't, I mean, I'm still a physical main per se. Like, if you take a look at my stats, I'm still uh, heavily physically based. So, unfortunately, uh, like, I, I won't be able to use her for quite a while until at least I build up my mage team. Like, this, uh, this percentage difference is just too big. But, hmm, for the event per se, I guess let's just do plus five for her. Let's go. I don't care. Let's go. All right, that's the fun of Gacha. Okay, we didn't get it. Let's continue. Okay, it's not about min maxing it's about it's about how op she is like i i honestly think this kind of damage she does oh okay nice second copy okay that's good let's keep two copies of her nice let's go Third copy incoming okay no oh wow okay that came ah oh, shit the fell ah oh, one of my very first battle misses oh that's why banner oh wait so this five star pt once you get the five star it resets okay i mean it works very similarly to other gachas as well okay guaranteed four star activated guaranteed four star activated oh no i lag uh another off banner miss what is this oh my god oh wow oh my god i didn't see the ah uh, i didn't see the animation for the second ah uh, the second costume oh shit it's so good i i didn't have alec like right now i think alec is in a good spot in a sense like uh you require even more burst to actually kill, kill people so Alex actually having the second copy is not bad. Like I'm trying to train up my Alex as well. So third copy is all oh, her really good. Let's continue. Okay. Oh, we are close actually. We are close. We are close. <laughs> we are close. Okay. Oh, roll is okay. Roll is okay. Okay, we we exchange for a costume first. So we got this one draw point. Okay, so right here, I think we have, uh, give me a moment, so we go into her page, that's good, I, I main row as you guys can see, so the additional costume for row is definitely good, 
So over here, we have how many copies of her? We have three copies. So we need one more copy to max up. I mean, one more copy. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, it gives, uh, it gives a magical attack buff. So not that good, at least for myself. But I, I'm not complaining because I do think that she's a really powerful unit. 4 SP, 5 turns. Yeah, I need two more copies of her. Okay, let's continue. We need two more copies. Can we get the two more copies with the free ticket summons? Let's continue. Let's go. Okay, nope. Skip. Skip. Okay. Ah, man. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, what? Ooh. A new character. Put name as Elise. Oh my god, so nice. Oh, and another double. Oof. Oh, this is so good. Okay. I think, I think, I think I only need one more copy. So I kind of don't need to do 10 times. I'll just do the single draws until I get her. Should I just do that? Or should I just do a tempo and, you know, speed things up? Okay, I'll just do one by one. Right, we only need one more copy of her. Oh, but it'll be damn slow though. So I I'm just going to do tempos. Let's go. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay, the last costume. Okay, let's just keep it. It's not a new character. Oh, Anthony. Uh, I mean, it is fine. New costume modes. New physical stat boost. Let's continue. Yes. Oh, another new collection. Somebody new. Man. I missed the, miss the five star. Oh, shit. It was, it's a miss. It's a miss. Okay. Anastasia. Fire graffiti Anastasia. I mean additional stats. I'm gonna complain. Let's continue. One more. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. The last one. The last one is so tough. Where's my last one? Hey, let's let's claim from the event first. Receive all. So we, we left with two more, right? Let's use the ticket. Any boost? Actually, I really like this like additional ticket system. If you decide to pull for the unit, you get like additional stuff. So right now, there's no missing in terms of the four star. Okay, Woo, the last one. Do you get it? Do you get it? Hopefully we do. I think it should be because there's no new connection buff. Yeah, so it's not a new unit per se. Like this, on the, the step buff on top, right? It makes all the difference. Yeah. Okay, Angelica. I look at the summoning animation again. Okay, we are done. So we get uh we get how many copies of her? Five copies. All done. Okay. Now we kinda need her weapon. We need at least one copy of her weapon. Okay, sacred swing. I mean, I, I mean, I might turn to the mage side though. Right now, the mage teams are just... Okay, so once you have her at plus 5, decreases incoming damage, right? Attack 3 times to deal magical damage based off 35% of the target's max HP. So you can use her as a DPS that's able to reduce up to 75% of HP, I assume, right? It's a percentage-based attack. But more importantly, she's more like a tank here in a sense with the decreased incoming damage. So there's that 4 SP though. Hmm. Might be a bit tough in in uh PvE settings. But okay, whatever. Let's continue. So we get her to plus five. Oh shit, my brown dust tool hang on the uh, reset. Let me give me a moment. claim the tickets from the events itself. We get the, the uh the thing. So if you take a look at the summons we took, right? We took roughly 313 summons. <laughs> we took roughly 313 summons in order to get her to plus 5. Uh, no regrets. I think, like, I do think she's a really good unit. So, next, let's pull for her weapon. Hopefully, we get it in 10 draws. Oh. Stupid Alex weapon. What is this? What is this? Give me. Yeah, that's my single pick. Let's go, Singapore! Nope. And unfortunate. Let's go. Mm, okay, you are costume for my dear vampire guy. Nice. 
Where's my weapon? Oh my god, I'm fully drained after this uh, pool session, guys. Okay, yeah, we, we got it. We got it. Okay, so we got her exclusive weapon. That's good. Alright, Evil Sword Jomon. Oh. Anthony. Leatri's weapon. Okay. Oh, Latel's armor. Wow. All the. All the good stuff. All the UR stuff. Rubia's UR. But I don't have Rubia in this account yet. Oh, Sylvia's weapon as well. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? That's. Oh, that's four UR weapons. So damn good. What is this? Okay, guys. Uh, That's it for this part, right? I'm gonna. Uh, do a short I'm gonna do a short review for the character right this is the end of the pool session so I'll post the short review for the character in another video chances are I won't be able to use her because I run a physical team but let's say if she's really good and a lot of people start using her they'll try I'll tr probably try to slot her in my pvp team because I think she can act as a frontline tank after using her first skill and it's a really good skill in a sense like it reduces a fixed amount of hp so i might try that and then i'll do a short review on that but yeah that's pretty much it today's loot is pretty good like today we got quite a boost in terms of our collection really really good like i'm super happy honestly speaking although it took like quite a bit of pulls but we got a bunch of gears we managed to finish up a little bit of our collection here as you guys can see i'm still missing some of the physical characters so this one we can exchange it within the shop uh we can also exchange rubia within the inn uh same thing for alania so i i shall see how it goes but right now this is the current post really happy with it and i'll end the stream here thank you very much for watching do remember to like and subscribe in order to see more brown dust 2 videos for the channel and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys